Fats Domino, one of the most influential rock and roll performers of the 1950s and 60s, has died aged 89. The American rock and roll artist was best known for his songs Ain't He That a Shame and Blueberry Hill. The New Orleans singer sold more than 65 million records, outselling every 1950s rock and roll act except Elvis Presley. His million-selling debut single, The Fat Man, is credited by some as the first-ever rock and roll record. An official from New Orleans coroner's office confirmed the death which was earlier announced by Domino's daughter to a local television station. Fats Domino was one of the first rhythm and blues artists to gain popularity with a white audience and his music was most prolific in the 1950s. Domino's music has been credited as a key influence on artists during the 1960s and 70s. Elvis Presley introduced Fats at one of his Las Vegas concerts by saying this gentleman was a huge influence on me when I started out. Paul McCartney reportedly wrote the Beatles song Lady Madonna in emulation of Domino's style. In 1986 he was among the first inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but by his later life Domino would no longer leave New Orleans, even to accept the award. New Orleans-born musician and actor Harry Connick Jr. is among those who have paid tribute to Domino on Twitter, saying he had helped pave the way for New Orleans piano players. R.I.P. Fats Domino. You helped pave the way for New Orleans piano players. See you on top of that Blueberry Hill in the Sky.